Okay, let's head over to the Beko kitchen. And Mark, you're working with the Mamma Mia theme this morning, making pasta. Yeah, yeah. What are the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good, Mike. Thank you. Great. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't I was going to carry show, on, but, but I didn't yeah. want to make it go down. Yeah, nice. Right, so we've got a garlic <laughs> pasta on the menu today. Lots of classic flavours in there. Obviously, garlic, basil, chilli in there, some capers, and a few sort of, uh, well, like uh, we've got some cumin in there as well Ooh. to give it a little bit of spice, and of course some white wine. Nice. Really simple, make it all in one pan, really tasty, fast pasta. Nice work, you've chefified it up <laughs> with a bit of spice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, right, <laughs> sounds delicious, can't wait to try that towards the end of the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen, and Mark, you've got a great family pasta dish for us to try, and you know, if you're a pestitarian, is that what they call them? Yep. Yep, people that eat seafood but not meat, this is the perfect pasta dish for you as well. Well, that's it, and it's great, and it's really fast, and, it, and, it's, and who doesn't love prawn pasta as oh, well? who doesn't love prawns? Okay, cool, let's get into it. So, obviously, dice up some garlic. Yeah, so I've got quite a few uh, cloves here of garlic, so I've just squashed them, taken the peel off, and I'm just sort of chopping over it. So you get it sort of, you know, as fine as you can get it. I you know? know, but I can never get it to look like that at home when I chop my garlic. You just need to chop it for longer. Is Sharp knife, really? yeah. Sharp knife, chop it for longer. Yeah. So we're going to make a little marinade for the prawns. Obviously garlic prawns, so plenty of garlic, so we'll mm -hmm. get that in there now. And then what I'm going to do... Would you like me to do anything, Chef? Uh, no, no, you can, just, uh, you can just stand there and watch. Okay, good. So a little good. bit of oil in there, so it's just going to help the marinade. Some this is going to help pepper. the marinade, salt and pepper. <laughs> it's like an echo, really. Like an echo, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that's a pretty hearty dash of salt. Oh, yeah, I mean, we've got loads of prawns, you know, so we're oh, seasoning cool. it, you know. So, so as you're cooking, season all the way through, okay. you know, rather than just chuck it in at the end. Ah, oh, see, that's a common mistake I do. Right, prawns I go in of, there as well. I get to the it, end and I'm like, oh, I forgot the seasons, but season all the way through. Yeah, and then you make, then you dump loads of salt in it and then you make it too salty. So always add add little bits of salt all the way through, because okay. then you can control it. A little bit of lemon zest as well, so that's going to be uh, really nice with the prawns, cut through the dish. And we've got some capers in there as well. So that's going to help us cut through the richness. Nice. A little bit of juice as well. It smells good already. Yeah, it's really good. It's really simple, but it's you know it's all about those prawns. Yeah, well, I never thought to put a little bit of lemon zest in with the prawns. So here we go. And I'm gonna put some chili, chili, chili flakes in there. Yeah. And I've got some fresh chili as well. You know, obviously, if you you know if you don't want too much chili in the dish, you know, you can take the chili out or just use a little bit of this chili, fresh chili. You know, it give you a nice bit of flavour without okay. too much heat. Okay. Good. Um, so what you want to do, about 20 minutes in the fridge, so put yep. them back in the fridge, 20 minutes and you'll start getting all those garlic flavours into the meat and then we're ready to cook. Okay, do you need to cover it with cling film or anything? No, 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 because no. it's, it's only going to be in there in 20 minutes. Sweet. So whilst, whilst the uh, prawns are marinating and getting all that flavour, mm -hmm. we're just going to get everything else ready for the dish. So some shallot here, so just to do some nice thin slices, you know, yep. give us a bit of texture. And I've got some boiling salted water in there. Yeah. Uh, so you can put a little drizzle of uh, oil in there, yep. and then you can put some um, pasta in there. Put so we're using pasta. spaghetti, but you can yeah. use any pasta you want, really. You know, it's all up to you. Okay, cool. Get the alpha one in there. Got some chili as well, so I'm just going to slice that. So you can do that into nice little slices or dice it um, if you want to take the seeds out. Obviously, cut it in half and then dice it. But you know, these are not too spicy. These chilies. I've been working with quite a lot of uh, chilies uh, recently, and um, what is that? Oh, just uh, just sort of one of my like little hobbies, <laughs> <laughs> just like eating chilies. But there's this one called the Carolina Reaper, yeah. which is uh, it's actually the hottest chili in the world, and it is so spicy. Have you given it a go? Yeah, yeah, and it's just it's, it's red, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought as well. But it's but it's really amazing to you know you get this beautiful flavour. But we were talking about it. It's one of the chilies where you, you try it and you go, oh, it's not that spicy. And you get this beautiful flavour and then you get a little bit of heat and then you get more heat and right. more heat. And it just, it just keeps going hotter and hotter. Because normally you eat chilies and they get hot and they it. don't get any hotter. But this one just goes hot, 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 hot. No, because I like that. Because sometimes people, they think, oh, yeah, I can handle this chilli. And this one obviously yeah, creeps up on you. <laughs> that's, that's what <laughs> I do. Like, sucker. And it does. And it's like, you know, it's about a four-minute journey of, like, just getting hotter. And, and it's like a world of pain. But it's a great flavour. Good. And obviously, you use just a little bit. But then there's so many different types of chilies, different levels and different flavours. So it's really nice. good. So, so And these ones are quite, you know, they're quite mild. Tame. Yeah. It's tame, he likes to call them. Yeah, tame. But it always pays to, um, you know, just double check the the spice level you know that's quite a, you know it's a whole chili in there but you know if you if you try it and it's really spicy you might only want a, a third of that you know okay. if it's not too spicy you might want to put a bit more in so 
So you imagine this is marinated for about yep. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, fast forward 20 minutes. Right, and then we're going to sprinkle some cumin over that as well now. So okay, we're just going to get a bit of space. We don't want to put it in right at the beginning. You know, it just makes it a bit a bit too sort of cumin-y. We'll just have it in the end so we just get a nice hint of it. Okay, brilliant. We've got all that garlic in there. We've got some oil in there. And now we're pretty much ready to start cooking. So I've got a nice big pan on there. That's yep. been warming up. So the key now is just to have a really good hot pan. Okay, Prawns cool. are ready. We've got a shallot, some chilli there. White wine's ready to go, capers to finish, and some basil. So pasta's cooking, and we're going to cook that in the next segment. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Now it's time to make our sauce for our pasta. Well, pretty much cook the prawns as well. So we're about to be up to Right, Mark. so we've got, so pasta's cooking, so we've yes. still got a few minutes left to go on there. Nice hot pan. And remember, we've got, um, we've got the prawns in here. There's a little bit of oil coat in it, but we've got the lemon juice in it as well. So yep. I'm just going to... Just take that excess marinade off. Okay. And then I'm going to pop them in. It's a nice hot pan. Yep. They go in. So don't pour it in, just scoop well, it in. Well, I mean, we can add that through a little bit later okay, for cool. the flavour, but we just want to, we don't want too much liquid in there. You know, you want a little bit of oil which you've got coated around the prawns, and we just want to start cooking it. So just keep it going. So you can see you've still got that nice heat there. It smells incredible. Yeah, and you've got all that garlic. So. Key thing to remember there, you want a nice hot pan so you can start cooking those prawns so we're yep. not boiling them and um, you know slow cooking them and they're going to go hard. And also you want to keep an eye on it and you don't want to burn this garlic. You can get a little bit of colour on it because that will bring the flavour out. Okay. But you don't want to make, you want to make sure it doesn't go black. Okay, you give me that and I'll keep an eye on it. Right, so then after me? about a minute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Pop the chilli in and pop the shallots in. Okay. So because it's really fine, the shallot, you know, it's not going to take that long to cook. Okay. You know, so you've got to think about that. If we're not cooking for a long time, cook, you know, cut it really, really thin. So pretty much like, you know, another minute of cooking. Yep. The shallot will have softened down. The prawns are getting sort of cooked. Smells incredible. Yeah. You can smell those chilies coming through too, actually. Yeah, and it'll give you some good flavour as well, you know, and it'll, and it'll complement it with the garlic, you know, because that amount of garlic in there, it's going to be a little bit spicy as well. OK, cool. So don't burn the garlic. Don't burn the garlic. Burn you the can garlic. lightly toast it, you know, it'll give you a different flavour. Right, so just have a look at your pasta. How do you know when it's ready? Well, I mean, we want it al dente. Right to the roof. So, yeah, you can do that. Well, it's a bit harder. <laughs> this is it's like the studio here is huge. It would take me a week for it to come back, I think. So if you have a look, so it's nice and flexible. Obviously, when it's cooked, it's going to be flexible. But if you just break it in half, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's still a little bit white in the centre, yes. you know, so it's still a bit under in the centre, so it still needs a couple more minutes. Okay, cool. But we are looking for it, pretty much you take a little bit out and then if you just bite on it, you want a slight resistance and, well, I wouldn't say crunch, but a slight resistance on there, you know, and right. then that's al dente. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's all sort of softened. Deglaze it with a bit of white wine, so mm -hmm. a nice splash. Gives you an excuse to open the bottle and drink the rest in the evening with dinner. <laughs> so back on the heat, we're going to reduce that wine, wine down a little bit. Yeah. All right, and then that's going to act as the base of our sauce. So you don't or need to like turn a, the heat down. Like, just no, no, no. Keep, keep it the same. Keep the heat on the same. Got some basil there. Just going to roughly chop it. You don't want to chop your basil too fine, otherwise you'll bruise it. And if you haven't got a sharp knife and you you chop it yeah. and it goes it goes black and brown, that's obviously because you haven't got a sharp knife because you're bruising it. You're not cutting through it. Okay. Okay. So there's a top tip. So nice chop. Yes, nice. So get your steels out and sharpen your knife every now and again. People just leave them in the drawer, you know, they never I, use it. I think it. that was you last week, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you how to use it one day. Actually, that's a good, that's a good one. So, obviously, um, the wine's brought to the boil, so the alcohol's boiled off now. You're intensifying the flavour. Mm -hmm. All those flavours are marrying. A little knob of butter in there, well, and a good-sized knob of butter in there. You know, there's no cream in this, so it's healthy. Oh, you're good. Until there we you put go. all that butter in there. So we allow butter in it. There's no cream. Capers go in there last minute, you know, yep. that's going to give us a nice sort of salty acidicness. Nice bit of fresh basil, give it a good toss around. Okay. You know, pick a little bit of uh, pasta out there, just have a look in the middle. Oh, that smells so good, that basil is incredible, the pasta's coming along nicely. So I've got a nice little crunch in there, Yeah. So that tells me it's ready. Are you going to put it straight in? Yeah, I'm going to put it straight in, like look at that, and then Brilliant. toss that around. Obviously you can, you know, do it in a colander if you want, if you're cooking for more people. But, you know, that's a good size. Oh. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much how it is, you know. Give it a taste. Happy, Chef? Very happy, you know. A little bit left here. Pop that in, you know. Waste not, want not. I'm going to do a little Ready. bit more salt. Nice. And a squeeze of lemon. Give it a good toss and that is done. I mean, that's how fast it is, you nice. know. Nice. Vibrant, tasty, garlicky, packed full of prawns. Mm.